Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Google Chrome web browser, version 97, is now rolling out. And this is also the first version update we are getting to Chrome for this year of 2022. And this latest release started rolling out on the 4th of January. I received my update today on the 5th in my region of the world. Now, due to the shorter four-week release cycle, as many of you do know, we are now seeing fewer key feature updates between uh, those version updates to the browser. And in version 97, this is also the case where we only see a couple of uh, changes and little feature changes to the browser. Now, the first one we're going to take a look at is if we just head to the menu in the top right, go to settings, security and privacy, click on site settings and in site settings, just head to view permissions and data stored across sites. Now, in version 97, you can now delete all of the data that Chrome stores per website that you have visited, where previously you could only remove individual cookies for those uh, websites that you had visited. So as an example, if I click on the three-dotted menu for youtube.com, I can now clear all the data for that site and not just the cookies. So this is a nice privacy upgrade in version 97. Now, if you are like me and use your progressive web apps on a regular basis um, and frequently in Google Chrome, then uh, in version 97 now, web apps and now I'll let you use the top of the app bar space um, at the top of the PWA for features now like navigation buttons, colors, and search bars, where previously this was not the case. So um, the web apps now in version 97 are starting to behave and look more like native apps on your system. And then if you use Google Chrome on a mobile device, you now get per site Zoom, which is now available on mobile now, in the desktop version of Google Chrome, um, if you visit a particular website, uh, the, the uh, browser will remember the Zoom settings of the user for each website that you visit. Now, previously uh, on the mobile version for Chrome, this was not the case. And now with version 97, um, if you uh, set a certain website or web page um, to a Zoom setting, it will also now remember it when you visit it again the next time. Now, this is not a default feature and you have to use a flag on mobile to enable the feature. And if you are interested, that flag is enable accessibility page zoom to be able to remember your zoom, your zoom settings now on your mobile device using Google Chrome 97. And then if you are a developer, uh, you can now check if your display supports HDR, which is high dynamic range. So if you're browsing a site, as an example, with HDR video, that site can now check whether your display supports that codec. So, And if it doesn't support that codec, then the site just won't display in HDR, which is high dynamic range. And then one last key feature just to mention in version 97 is that there's a new little feature uh, called Keyboard Get Layout Map, which is a feature that helps identify a key that is pressed for different keyboard layouts like French and English. So this is a handy uh, little feature for some. I'm sure this will be a handy feature for some. And I'm sure for others, this could be a privacy concern. Now, as always, um, we, we, we get those all important security fixes, which also roll out in version updates to the browser. And if we just head over to Chrome releases for the stable channel update for desktop. Yeah, we can see that Google says that this update includes 37 security fixes. So that's quite a lot of uh, security uh, flaws that have been addressed. So this is an important security update as well in version 97. And out of those 37 security flaws, we can see here that one uh, was critical, use after free in storage. And then I have counted that 10 of those are half risk and high severity security flaws and then the rest are medium and low so it's important you check that you're up to date even if you're not interested in you know any feature updates or changes it's important to check you're up to date especially if we're dealing with uh, a number like 37 security flaws that have been fixed in the browser 
And to see, as always, to check that you have the latest version, just head up back to the menu in the top right. Go to help about Google Chrome. Now, if you do use Chrome on a regular basis, the browser will be updated automatically uh, in the background. But it's always good to check, especially regarding those security fixes. And the latest version now, which is a key version update, is 97.0.4692. Point seven one. That's the latest stable version and build of the Google Chrome web browser that you now need to be on to get those features that I've mentioned and those 37 security fixes. And if we just head lastly over to the Chrome platform status, I have mentioned most of the key feature updates and changes in the uh, this latest version to the browser. And the next version, Chrome version 98, the next stable version, will be rolling out in 27 days, which is on the 1st of February. That's when we'll get Chrome version 98. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.